Good evening. I'm Eileen Gilmer. I'm one of the pastors here at Trinity Church. You will see Pastor Neil Huff, our senior pastor, in just a moment. And we are so honored to share with you this beautiful service. It is a Celtic service, which we do every month, but this one is special. This one is a service of wholeness and healing. It's recognizing there are a lot of folks out there who may not be feeling like celebrating for Christmas. Sometimes Christmas brings um, memories that it is a hard time for you. So we want to recognize that, but we also want to let you know that this season that we're in right now of Advent leading up to Christmas is a season of hope. We are a people who live in hope because we have a Lord and Savior who came to this earth to teach us how to love and serve and live. So I welcome you and now let's join and begin our Celtic service for December 2021. The Advent season is one of wonder. For so many, it is a time of hopeful anticipation. It's a season of promise. The longer nights and the gray clouds seem to provide the perfect background for the lights and the tinsel. The decorations are everywhere we turn. For so many, this is a time of hopeful anticipation. But for many of us, Christmas can serve as a harsh reminder of a life that once was. We gather here to carve out a time of quiet reflection. We gather to shed tears if they come and be reminded we're not alone. We gather to be reminded that it is okay to mourn, even at Christmas. I invite you to download the bulletin if you have not. We have several parts of this service that are responsive. So I invite you to join me if you have it downloaded. And if not, you can just follow along. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by God, and without God, nothing can, came to be. What came to be through God was life, and this life was the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Good evening, and welcome once again to our service. Would you please join me in the prayer for the evening? In this season of anticipation, we seek the comfort of the Holy Spirit. We ask for your blessing this night, for the pain at Christmas seems sharper. We remember the words of Jesus, who promised comfort to those who mourn. All around us are reminders of the joy that the world tells us we are supposed to be feeling. Forgive us, O God, for not always joining in the celebration with our whole hearts. Guide us now, O Holy One, that we may move in small steps toward comfort. Help us to find healing in the midst of the pain and order in the midst of the chaos. Lighten our burden. Give us rest. Amen. Our Psalter reading comes from Psalm 22. If you are following in the bulletin, please respond to where the people are marked. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, so far from the words of my groaning? O my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. In you our ancestors trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. It was you who brought me from the womb, you who kept me safe on my mother's breast. Since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. God does not despise the affliction of the afflicted. God does not hide from me. When I cry to God, God hears me. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the responsive prayer and be prepared to respond at the very end. 
In you, gracious God, the widowed find a carer, the orphaned find a parent, the fearful find a friend. In you, the wounded find a healer, the penitent find a pardoner, the burdened find a counselor. In you, the miserly find a beggar, the despondent find a laughter maker, the legalist find a rule breaker. In you, Jesus Christ, we meet our maker and our match. And if some need to say, help me, and if some need to say, save me, and if some need to say, hold me, and if some need to say, forgive me, then let these be said now in confidence by us. O Christ, in whose heart is both welcome and warning, say to us, do to us, reveal within us the things that will make us whole. And we will wait, and we will praise you. Amen. We light this first candle to remember those whom we have loved and lost. We pause to remember clearly their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation, whom all creation waits for the light. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them. O come, O come, Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. We light this second candle to remember the pain of loss, loss of relationships, loss of pets, loss of trust, loss of jobs, loss of health, loss of faith, the loss of joy. We acknowledge and embrace the pain of the past, O God, and we offer it to you, asking that in our wounded heart and open hands, you will place the gift of peace, shalom. We remember that through you all things are possible. Refresh, restore, renew us, O God, and lead us into your future. O come thou wisdom from on high, who ordered all things mightily. To us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.
We light this third candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember the past weeks and months, and for some of us, years that have been heavy with our burdens. We accept and lay before you, O oh God, the sharpness of memory, the sadness of grief, the hurt and fear and the anger and the pain. We accept and lay before you the ways we feel we have fallen short and the times that we have spent blaming ourselves and you for all that we have suffered. We accept and lay before you the time we have walked alone in darkness and in knowledge of our own mortality. We remember and that though we have journeyed far and that while lost, we may have turned away from the light. The light itself, though, has not failed. We remember that the winter is upon us and though the night is dark and the turning of the wheel of the dawn will come and the dawn defeats the darkness. O come, thou day spring, come and cheer our souls by thy advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. We light this fourth candle to remember faith, the gift of light and hope that God offers us in the stories of Hanukkah and of Christmas, which both also began in abandonment, insecurity, and humbleness, in a time of war and in a poor stable. We remember that the loving God, who kept the light shining in the temple and who came to share this life with us, Promise us, us comfort and peace. We remember the one who shares our burdens, who shows us the way to light, and who journeys with us into all our tomorrows. O come, desire of nations, bind in one the hearts of all mankind. Bid then our sad division cease, and be thyself our king of peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Amen. For our prayers of the people, I invite you to join either by following, following along in your bulletin or you can just listen. God of wisdom, we come to you this Advent season tired, some in turmoil and in pain. As the nights have grown longer, so has darkness grown and wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of longest night, we ask your healing blessings upon all we carry in our hearts. Sorrow, we fear, may never end. 
wounds we cannot even put into words. Lord, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. God of mercy and compassion, there are those among us who are grieving over what might have been. Death or loss or terrible hurt has changed our experience of Christmas. We remember that once it was a special day for us too, but someone or something precious has gone away from us in this life. We have lost a beloved, a companion, a job, a goal, a cause, a dream. We find ourselves adrift and feeling alone. We're weary from the journey and we have found no room at the end. We come to you seeking rest and peace and shelter from the storm. Lord, hear our pray, prayer and in your merciful love, answer. God of grace, in the spirit of the season, grant us all that we need to comfort us as we journey through this Christmas season. We ask that you shelter and sustain all of those, both here and throughout the world, who wander or want or weep or are heavy laden, that we may be lifted up in courage and journey on into your peace. Lord, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. God of love, in this Advent season, we embrace and offer up to you all that used to be, which is now lost to us and cannot earthly be again. With celebration all around us, memories of what was and what was and fears of what may be weigh heavy on our hearts. Please hold us close in your embrace be near us this night until the light returns and the morning comes. Lord, hear our prayer and in your merciful love, answer. Keep close, dear Lord, all those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick. Lord, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and fulfill all for your love's sake. Amen. Psalter reading is the familiar words of the 23rd Psalm. Let us hear these words together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Thank you. 
Please join us for our concluding prayer, and if you have downloaded the bulletin, you will find a part that you are encouraged to read. So let us pray. Another day will come, O God, I know not what it may bring forth, but make me ready, God, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, help me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of your peace. Amen. The days are short. The nights are long. Dear Lord, your universe mirrors the reality of our hearts, revealing your gracious spirit that mourns with us in grief, cries with us in sorrow, and sits with us in despair. You are not a distant God removed from human pain, but a faithful companion closer to us than our tears. Help us feel your presence now as we remember and reflect, seeking your healing touch and the hope that was promised and delivered in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. And now hear these words of blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.